my friends. So I am just pulling in here. Um, I'm driving along the Gulf Coast, headed into Biloxi. I actually came through like past Christian so that I could drive the whole beachfront. And what I'm doing um, is I'm just kind of looking here on my first uh, drive through town to see where are all the people at. Um, there's been a lot of spring break activity going on in this area. So I just want to see if there's like some big areas where a lot of people are hanging out and that gives us an idea of where we might want to go detect later on. Um, you might also notice it's overcast and the ocean's pretty choppy out there. It's because there is a storm right behind me coming in from Louisiana. So it's been on my heels all day today and I'm hoping to get somewhere and do a bit of detecting um, before it starts to really storm because it is actually some severe weather coming in. But anyway, thought you guys might enjoy watching the drive in to Biloxi. If you've never been here, this gives you a bird's eye view of what it's like driving in. Hello my friends, it's your girl Lucky Jen and I have made it to the first beach on my Gulf Coast tour. I decided to start in familiar territory, so I'm actually at Biloxi Beach where I had great luck last time I came. Um, I have a storm hot on my heels, so I'm going to be detecting until the storm kicks in and we can't detect anymore. If you guys are ready, let's get going. Okay guys, I've got my first target of the day here um, at the beach already. So we are going to dig this out and see what we've got. Okay, we got it already. I think I actually see something right there. And first target of the day is a quarter, uh, 1991. Okay guys, second target of the day here at Biloxi. And this one sounds like it might be bigger. So we're going to see what we got here. This lady lost a ring the other day. Well, the other day, it was about seven or eight days ago. So that hole is right there? Yeah. They were playing football, her and her daughter. Um, 20 something year old daughter. And she said her ring flew off and they were looking for it. I helped them look for it a little bit. They couldn't find it. It was, it was a little bit of diamond ring. Awesome. Well, so anyway, that's a tip for you. In that, in that area where that pole is, in between that pole and those palm trees where they were playing football. So. Cool. Well, thank you. Maybe I'll find it. <laughs> you never know. There's something there that's actually putting my detector into overload, but. I think that we got somewhere here. Maybe. See something red? What's it gonna be? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's one of these lovely vapes. Which makes me think there must be probably something else there related to it. Oh, let's hope this thing don't leak. Okay. Let's get that filled in. And now, thanks to that awesome tip from the guy passing by, we know that there might be a ring over in there, so we're gonna see if we can find that too. Okay guys, so I followed the tip from the fella who said there was a diamond ring recently lost in this area, um, and I'm kind of gridding around the area he told me, and I have a nice loud signal right here. Now, it does look like maybe some kids have been playing, so what do you guys think? Is it gonna be a toy car or a diamond ring? Let's see. Okay, it's uh, apparently something. I felt like I was caught on something there. Oh, wow. It is like, I don't think I'm gonna get that out. It's like a big old piece of uh, metal. <clears throat> Jeez, not sure what that is. Gosh, I hope nobody falls and hits it. Let me see if I can get that out because it's like something somebody could get hurt on. 
I don't think I can get it, so I'm gonna kind of, I guess I'll cover it up. Um, it looks like a, it might be like part of a window ledge or something. I mean, it's like a big, big piece of metal. So I'll try to cover it where hopefully no one would step on it or get hurt because I definitely can't get it out. It's really big. Okay, well, anyway, next. Okay, guys, I'm just on to another target here. Um, this one's ringing up pretty loud. I'm afraid it's gonna be something huge like a Coke can, but we'll see. So I was just chatting with somebody there that he's here from Ohio and he's also a detectorist. So he stopped by to see what kind of machine I was swinging and if I'd had any luck so far. Hmm. This is looking like it's going to be something pretty deep. So I don't know if we're going to go for this or not. One of the things that um, I've noticed, uh oh, I feel it. I think I just hit it. Hold on, guys. Hit some something anyway. Yep, there it is. And as I suspected, it is a huge, wow. It's a Coke can that is actually full of sand. Like it feels like it's still full, <laughs> kind of crazy. Um, so I'm not gonna tote this. I'm gonna um, run put it in the trash can. Just onto another target here. This started out as kind of a low tone, but um, as I've moved a bit of sand off, the tone's gotten better. Now I am concerned because there's uh, these pipes that go out into the water right there. So I'm hoping it's going to be not something related to that. And I think we got it out. Hmm. What this is. Oh wow! Did not expect to find this at the beach. I'll check this out. It's like a a little baby pocket knife so that was kind of cool it's um pretty rusty so it must have been there for a minute but okay so that was our latest target okay guys i'm just on to a nice target here um got a good strong signal this is kind of in the uh where i imagine the towel line would be the storm front coming in means there's not really any people out with towels right now. All right. We got it. Oh, I think I see it. See something round. Question is, did we get a bottle cap or did we get a coin? Looks like we got a coin and it is going to be a quarter. Looks like maybe it's been there a while. It's um, pretty discolored. Let you guys have a look. Not sure if I can tell the date on this one. Well, my friends, I'm on to another target. Um, the rain has held off, so it looks like we are going to be detecting till dark today. Thank goodness. Um, it is cold though. The wind's blowing in. It's getting chilly, so I ran to the car and grabbed a pullover. Hey, I believe it's right here. I think I actually see it. And it's a penny actually had um, quite a bit of cloud already here. It's getting kind of dark, so we're not going to be able to see what it is, but I'll let you guys know in the wrap. All right, my latest target here is a nice high tone. Probably it'll be a coin. Okay, and we got it in the scoop.
and looks like we have a coin and it's a dime so I'm racking up my cloud here tonight okay my friends well I'm gonna wrap it up um, it's really dark it's getting pretty late um, and I am by myself so I think that's probably good for today um, I'll do a little wrap up here at the end for you and then um, I'll see you guys at the next beach take care okay my friends this is the wrap up for the first day hunting um, here at Biloxi and um, so I did get quite a lot of coins. I'll start over here. None of them are particularly old, but I got three quarters, a nickel, three dimes, and four pennies. And then found a vape, a whole sack of um, lids and pull tabs and that sort of thing. And then um, this was just like some random, I don't know, piece of metal pipe. And my favorite find definitely was this cute little baby buck knife. Looks like, I don't know, maybe the kind of knife you'd give a little boy for his first knife. So kind of sad to see it lost, really. It's super cute. Um, and then just a couple of bolts and nails. So that's the wrap up. Tomorrow we're going to hit a really densely populated part of the beach and see what else we can find. As always, I hope you guys will give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I'll even link some extra videos here at the end if you want to explore the channel a little bit more. Until the next time, you guys, I wish you all the best of luck and happy hunting. Luxy in the casino district and there on the right comes Beau Rivage. That is quite a posh fancy casino although I will say I have not had any luck gambling there so it is not high on my list of casinos to visit but it is a beautiful casino I will give them that. Hard Rock Cap Casino. I'm sure we will visit there this week. dozers or beach work hmm is closing we got to get over just as well because up there comes Harris on the left 